Call the science of Dr. Kim, yeah? The science of Dr. Kim. It's been 200 years ago. So it is... Wow, there's even... Oh, Moody Kim. This is super luck. Friends, are there any of you who are interested in medicine, biomedical sciences, or perhaps you want to study medicine abroad, or dream of becoming a biomedical engineer? If so, then you've come to the right video. We are in Sunderland, home to a university with a long-standing history in the field of medicine. The University of Sunderland has been offering this program for over 100 years. Today, we will take a tour of the School of Medicine. We will explore the laboratories, talk to the staff, and of course, check out the university's equipment. Today, my colleague Adi from Mariadi will be assisting us. Let's get started. All the science of Dr. Kim, yeah? The science of Dr. The, uh, the health sciences, the, yes. The health science, okay. Thank you. I said as well for self-study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a whole suite of labs. Okay. See if we can find an empty one. Wow. So this is a super lab. Yeah? Is this a super lab? Sorry? This is a super lab, yeah? Because teaching labs. Teaching labs. Teaching labs. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, <coughs> probably. We should say you can get a lot of students in here. A lot of students in yeah. And what is this? This is an uh, electronic uh, microscope. No, it's uh, just an ordinary um, converted microscope. Mm -hmm. We've got camera on there. So um, there's a little bit of software that the students can put on their mobile phones and they can take pictures. On their mobile phones? Well, really? they can take the pictures with this. Okay. But then they can yeah. download it onto their mobile phones. Uh -huh. So. Um, and is this the lab used for uh, by future pharmacists? Yeah. Um, on our, our the, the, do the pharmacists use this lab much? Yeah, the pharmacist lab is directly opposite, so it runs parallel. It's pretty much the same, but in reverse. Uh -huh. On that side, yeah, it's a biochemistry. Um, what is this, what is this? That's a spectrophotometer. So you use it to? Are you familiar with spectrophotometers? Well, I, I know what it does. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's just a, a very basic spectrophotometer for the students to use to see. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple on each bench for them. To you are very well equipped. Yes, yes, I think so. And, and, and is this the uh, centrifugal? Yeah, centrifugal. It's a huge, huge little one. Yeah, we've got a big one. Yeah, because the, it, it does things. look yeah. cool. And what is this used for? The one. Just for spinning down samples. Samples, okay. Yeah, just to get um, pellets. And yeah, so you can separate pieces. solid from liquid and. Ah, yeah. interesting. Okay. Are these uh, the fume boxes? I think they are. Yeah, yeah? the fume boxes. Um, we've got green flag, we've got a clay readers here. A what? Sorry? So we've got clay readers here uh -huh. for reading um, water to well plates. Mm -hmm. So. We can do 96 samples at a time, rather than one sample with the spectrophotometer. Ah, oh, no idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are the microwaves? <laughs> yes, microwaves for eating things. A for eating things. Not food. Not for food. <laughs> Not for food. <laughs> okay, so these are the woods. Uh, we've got bench and futures. There's a couple of incubators over there, and there's an ultra centrifuge and incubator over there. So, and what is this? That's a, a, a large it's centrifuge. A, oh, it's a big one. Yes. Okay, so it looks like a dry machine. Yes. <laughs> so the Doesn't rotor sits on here. Okay, and this will go up to very, very high speeds. So that is armor plate. Oh, so, yes. really? Yeah. And what, what is it exactly you teach? Biochemistry, mostly, um, okay. and cell biology. I can see it up to 20,000 RPM. Yeah. Wow. It is very fast, yeah. isn't it? There's another one in the basement which will go up to 60,000 RPM. Yeah. Wow. 
So that's one rent a thousand revolutions a second. Yes. I once had a motorcycle that revved at 19,000 RPM. Yeah. And, and it, 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 the noise it made was phenomenal. Phenomenal, yeah. <laughs> well, there's no noise from these because they're going so fast. You have to suck the air out. You put right. it in a vacuum. All oh, right. Because otherwise they'd be going, they'd be going supersonic. Yeah, so right, you'd have yeah. the shock waves coming off the wow. motor. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. The equipment is impressive, and this is just one large laboratory. Let's not forget that there's an entire floor of them here, and this is far from all of it. By the way, after watching this video, be sure to check out the links in the description for other episodes dedicated to this wonderful university, the UK. There's a campus tour, introduction to the International Centre, an interview with Rob about the admission requirements, and much more. In the description, you'll also find tips on how to contact us for your consultation and assistance with choosing university and applying to a program. Okay. I, guess, I guess these guys must be volunteers. Volunteers, okay. Wow, there's even a oh, money here. Violent. Yeah, this guy doesn't look very well, does he? I, you know, they're quite expensive. They're very hard. They have expensive. all the bodily functions. Yeah. yeah. We are now looking at the newly opened Living Lab. This is a cutting-edge laboratory equipped with the latest technology in the field of healthcare. It features various simulation setups that allow students to learn in an environment similar to real-life situations. For example, there's a simulated hospital room, an apartment for patients with dementia, and even the only immersive simulation room in the region. This facility enables students to experience different events in a controlled environment. Additionally, the Living Lab has practice rooms where students can train in providing assistance to those in need. And that's all for today, friends. Don't forget to check out our other episodes from the University of Sunderland, and please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. We found it incredibly fascinating to explore the laboratories and medical workshops, and we hope you did too. If you're interested in the topic of studying abroad, consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss other informative and engaging episodes from different educational institutions. Thank you for watching until the end, and we'll see you soon again on Study with Mariadi channel. Goodbye for now.